So the amenities in this community are not like your normal amenities. I'm talking about the gym. I'm talking about the pool, dog park. And the builders are offering pretty good incentives or deals right now. And the reason for this is because time is money and the builders don't want to be sitting on these properties. And I'm going to talk more about these deals in a moment. So this is Empire Point. It's a brand new community. And overall, it is fairly intimate. There's only a little over 500 homes. So it's not near as big as some of these other huge master plan communities that we see in Queen Creek. So Empire Point is it's on the crossroads of Empire Boulevard and Gary Road. So it's on the very, very south part of Queen Creek, like across the street is Santan Valley. <laughs> You're about six, seven minutes from Fry's grocery store, maybe five minutes if you hit the lights just right. And then you're also only a mile from Schnepp Farm and the Olive Mill, which are two token things that you have to do in Queen Creek if you haven't done it yet. And then the Queen Creek Marketplace, which is our main shopping area in Queen Creek, you got everything there. You got Costco, Trader Joe's, all the good stuff. That's about 10 minutes away from this neighborhood. Now, the one thing I want to highlight about the location and not just this, not necessarily just of this neighborhood, but of Queen Creek in general, you're pretty far away from a major freeway. 202 is our main major freeway. So it's not easily accessible from, you know, Central Phoenix or even our main airport, Sky Harbor Airport. Um, without traffic, you're looking about 45 to 50 minutes to get to Sky Harbor or downtown Phoenix. Now this isn't unique to this neighborhood, but more to Queen Creek or Santan Valley in general. As far as schools go, you have Schnepp Elementary School, which is directly north of this neighborhood, super close. And then you have Newell Barney Middle School. And then you're only about a mile and a half from the Crimson High School, which is the third and the newest of all the high schools in Queen Creek, actually. And if you're considering charter schools, Legacy Traditional School is literally right across the street. But let's talk about the amenities in this community because I really think that is what makes this community pretty unique and stand out. Okay, so let's look at this pool right here. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. It's very large. There's also a hot tub or what they call a spa. A lot of places to lounge around the pool. You have a gorgeous pavilion. There's a lot of places to grill as well. And if you're a pickleball fan, you're going to be excited. These courts are absolutely gorgeous and they're brand new and clean. There's also a basketball court as well over by the playground. And there's a few different playgrounds in this really, really large green space as well. And something I really like about this community too is what they did is they created a lot of walking trails that actually go in between houses so a lot of the lots you actually don't have a house directly behind you so there's a little bit of space the neighbors aren't directly on top of you now not all the lots have this component but a fair amount do now my two favorite amenities of this community the first one is the dog park. I'm a dog lover, if you don't know. And this is a legitimate dog park. It's not like this tiny little run. Your dog is definitely going to be able to get their zoomies out here. And then they have some dog cleaning and bag stations as well. Other amenity feature that's incredible is the gym. You guys, this is a legit gym. You know, I see a lot of different communities where they highlight they have a gym, but then you go in there and it's like five different dumbbells and a treadmill that doesn't even really work. This one is like a proper gym. You have Stairmaster, treadmills. There's a rower, a lot of free weights. Um, they do have an assisted squat rack as well. Now I know what you're probably thinking. You're like, okay, what's the HOA for this neighborhood? And it is $149 currently. So it's not necessarily cheap, but considering that you might not have to pay for a gym membership anymore, and then you have access to a pool. I don't necessarily think it's a bad deal, but let's talk about the homes and the prices because that's probably why you're watching this video. Also, if you're finding any of this helpful or informative, please hit that subscribe button, helps me a lot. So this community has three different collections and within each of those collections, there's actually six different floor plans. So you have 18 different floor plans to pick from. Now the collections, they start out a little bit smaller, a little less expensive, and then and they progress. So you have Amber, which is the lower or smaller tier, then you have the Sterling, and then the final one is the Emerald Collection. The majority of the floor plans are going to be single level homes, but there are some two story options as well. So how big are these homes? So the smallest floor plan is 1,775 square feet. And then it does progress all the way up to about 4,000 square feet. So these homes aren't necessarily going to be like these giant estates, but pretty large stuff. I mean, a 4,000 square foot home has 
quite a bit of space. So how big are the lots for these homes? So it really depends on the home and the collection and so forth. But for the most part, you're going to see them in that like high 6,000. So like 67, I think was the smallest lot I saw. And then one of the larger lots was, you know, he reached over 8,000. So like 8,400 square feet. Overall for Queen Creek, this is pretty average. If anything, it's on the slightly larger size for lot size. Now, as far as bedrooms go, you do have three to five bedrooms in the floor plans. There's one floor plan that has five bedrooms, and then they also have a huge loft when you go upstairs. And then there's also a flex room. And when they say flex room, they basically mean it's a bonus room or additional room, probably doesn't have a closet and may or may not have a door. So this builder has what they call three different elevation so this is basically the style of the exterior of their home so they have this spanish style which is pretty common you see this pretty frequently in arizona and then they have the desert modern which is a very like geometrical square looking exterior and then they also have the ranch it almost feels like a modern craftsman style home okay so let's talk price now the lowest base price is $445,000 and then it went all the way up to $735,000. And I really have to point out, this is the base price. So this is before you start selecting a lot of your upgrades and finishes and so forth. Typically you can account that your finishes and all those things are going to be at 10% of the purchase price. Now, if you're going really, really fancy and getting all the bells and whistles, it's probably going to be closer to 15% plus of the purchase price. And then if you're doing bare, bare minimal, you might be able to get closer to about 5% of the purchase price, but that could be pretty challenging. So as a quick rule of thumb, that 10% is at least going to get you close to the ballpark rate. So for example, that smallest model that that's at 445, you're probably looking at, you know, $500,000, maybe even a little bit more. But that is more related is if you actually went into the builder, you picked your floor plan, all the finishes and started the home from the ground up, which usually takes about eight to 10 months. But I'm gonna tell you where people are actually finding good deals and new builds. So what this builder has and many other builders in the Phoenix area is they have a handful of move in ready homes. So these are homes that are ready to go maybe today or maybe in the next two to three months. Now, if these properties are sitting on the market, it's costing the builder money. So they want to motivate buyers to come in and purchase these homes just so they aren't holding on to them. So what they're doing is they're offering incentives for these homes. So this is basically money the builder is giving you to either pay for closing costs or if you use their affiliated lender you can use those funds for a rate buy down if you're financing the home and then that way your monthly payment is considerably lower now there's a multitude of factors that impact how much um, you may be receiving or you know what you qualify for that really depends on personal factors um, but i did just talk to one of the sales reps there and in a particular circumstance with my client we were looking at, at about six percent of the base price was actually going to be able to go towards closing costs, and then for a rate buy down. Now, taking advantage of these builders incentives has really helped a lot of my clients really score a deal despite with interest rates where they are right now. Now, this is probably the most important note that I can make in this video, but if you are thinking of going the new build route, make sure that you're bringing a realtor with you that very first visit. Because the sales reps at this particular community, I had a great experience with them, but at the end of the day, they have fiduciary duties only to the builder, meaning they have to try to get the builder the best deal possible and have the builder net as much money as possible. So even though, you know, they might be helping you, they aren't going to be negotiating for you and making sure that you're getting the best financial deal. Now, I think I would be the perfect realtor for you. I know this community well, but even if it's not me, just make sure you have a realtor when you go there. I promise you that is how you will get the best deal on your home. Now, if you're curious what other communities in Queen Creek look like, check out this video right here, Barney Farms. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day.